Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we will look into the Constellation Tower. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. Constellation Tower is the new content available for base level 115 players and above. You can participate every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And you can challenge the dungeon 5 times each day. The dungeon is divided into three difficulty levels, Normal, Hard, and Hell, in which each difficulty is divided into five floors with different raiders in each of these floors. Certain affixes will be active in each level and as the difficulty increases, the types of debuffs increases as well. For Hard and Hell difficulty, additional affixes must be set to match the entry level. However, you have the option to change some of the affixes or add some affixes to increase the difficulty. In addition, resurrection limit is placed in each difficulty. 5 times for normal, 3 times for heart, and 1 time for hell. As for the rewards, you will be able to acquire mythic equipments, light of wisdom, and meteor dust. These items can be exchanged for another item. In addition, if you receive a reward from a normal difficulty, you will not receive rewards in the hard difficulty. It is recommended to inlay a neutral element resistant cards on your equipment because the normal attack or a single hit skill from boss monsters deal high damage. All the boss attack patterns are the same with the Hellheimerans, so you can check the Raider's info for the recommended minimum requirements for each difficulty. The first floor boss monster is Morgul, which is from the plant race, poison element, large size monster. The basic pattern is the same as the Hellheim runs, but the exploding mushroom has a wider range and there's a charged mushroom summon pattern. It is recommended to pull the boss on a corner to avoid the poison and the charged mushroom damage. You also need to step on the mushrooms nearby as much as possible, but do not step on the ones that are too far away. And lastly, you need to avoid the tornado since it deals high damage. Up next, the second floor boss is All Baron, which is from the Demon Race, Neutral Element, Large Monster. It is recommended to kill all Gripons before opening the boxes. As soon as it appears, there's an AoE skill which deals high damage. Priest may want to use Basilica to minimize the damage and make sure to recast Aspersio. Since this is a normal difficulty, you only need to dodge the AoE and defeat all Baron easily. The third floor boss is Doppelganger. This is also from the Demon Race, Dark Element, Medium Sized Monster. Starting with 4 pillars, we need to destroy these pillars to stop the monster summon. Pull Doppel in the corner and if there's a pillar nearby, break it down as quickly as possible. Safety wall is also important because Doppel deals fast and strong damage.
fourth floor boss is Biju. This is from the Undead Race, Undead Element, Large Size Monster. This is the same as in Helheim Runs, but the ice radius is too narrow, so be careful not to get pushed and freeze to death. Fairly easy boss to defeat. The fifth floor boss is Horus. This is also from the Undead Race, Undead Element, Medium Size Monster. You will be transformed into Antasha right after the start. So you need to recast the buffs immediately after the pattern. Those who are turned into Antasha needs to find the pillar and turn it on. Horus deals very strong AoE damage when the light on the last pillar is turned on. It is recommended to turn the pillar from the closest one to the boss and the last pillar that is farthest from the boss. Remember that the lightning pattern triggers a total of 4 times, 90%, 80%, 60%, and 30%. After the lightning pattern, Horus will cast a large AoE which can instantly delete someone. After the AoE, Horus will cast a skill with semicircular range. If you can avoid these two skills after the lighting pattern, you can clear it without difficulty. And lastly, the mythic equipments you will get from the Constellation Tower have smelting properties. This will help you offset the dungeon affixes, thus help you clear high level difficulty levels. Right, if you guys enjoy this guide, please drop a like. Also, let me know what you think about this guide by leaving a comment down below. And last but not the least, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys on our next video. Thank you for watching.